Okay, first find is this seal, lead seal. But as I bent down to find the lead seal, I've seen this. <laughs> it's a tiny, tiny arm. It's broken at the end, unfortunately, but it's a doll's arm. It's minuscule. I'd say that's probably a horse's leg, a lead toy. Ceramic spoon. It's a strange piece of metal. It's got letters on it. it looks a bit like a gun, <laughs> but I don't think it is. Button. Also another. This is a pretty little thing, and I think this is a fossil of some sort. Is that modern or? can't tell if it's modern or not. It's beautiful and very shiny. Let's wait and see. Some lead feet. So there's this. Could be a coin in there. <laughs> and then there's this, which has a lot of writing on it. Haywood and Sun Distillery, Perth. Wow, that's lead. Oh, do you think that would have been on like on top of a bottle, like uh, on the stopper? Wow, that's amazing. Let's do some research about that distillery. Very cool. And this piece. Oh. Wow, that's beautiful. What does it have on it? Definitely see some flowers. Oh, wow. Okay. This is a good patch. Let's see what else is here. Curved bugle bead. Or is it just a glass rod? Oh, no. No hole in it. Just a glass rod. It's all absolutely stunning there. Oh! It says John something and sons distillery Perth. Oh, so it's like the top of a bottle, like oh, a metal cap. It's le lead. Mm. So yeah, I said maybe it was a bit on the top. Yeah. Yeah, and look, look at this piece of metal. Look at all. Oh, <gasps> wow, it's got flowers and things. Yeah. And some other. Wow. The curvy bead. Yeah, it's not a bead. Oh, no it's like that one I found the other day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can you just put that one in your box? <laughs> you can see my tiny arm. That's that small. It's lead. Oh! It's a little lead arm. Oh, we've got loads of things with missing yeah. arms. Stop rebuilding lead things. Cool. Hello, horse's leg. Lead leg. That's not easy to say. What's that round thing? Is it a fossil? Is it one of those? It's a numulite. Yeah, it is a numulite. I thought it was. It's a How weird is that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe they're everywhere and we just never knew what they were. Little blue bead. Beautiful pearly bead. The sunshine. Such a part of a hair clip, maybe, or a brooch. It's a bit, it might have a bit of a pattern on it. What, like that? What's that? Ooh. What is that? Part of a lead something. Ooh, I don't know what that. That's interesting. Is it like a headdress? I don't know. That's a cute bottle. Not too often they're whole here. And it's worn and it says 
Welcome. Welcome Chemworks? Oh no. Hmm. I'm gonna put it in my bag and think about it. One bottle stop. An unusual shaped one too. Our whites. How much of them do you think there is? Ah. Just the torso. The little spoon. Adorable. It's a bit like the thing Kate found. Another lead seal with words all over it. Look at that. That is a very big coin. Ooh. Let's see if I can see who it is. That will clean up quite well actually there. I think it's a man's head maybe? Nice. But giant. What is that shiny thing? I think it's just a lump of sea glass. It's very rounded. <laughs> that little bottle hole. Oh, it is. It's a little dumpy. It's a cutie. A little burst lip. Is that a bead? Yes! My first bead of the day. Brilliant. Thin, flat red one. Blue bugle bead. Tiny little brown bead. That's such a shame. That would have been a very chunky leg. A baby's thigh, I imagine. I'm sure we can fix it though. It's a beautiful red bead. Frosted one. Amazing. Always a bead day here. A little green bead. But then I just saw this. I think it's a cog. And then there's... Just a piece of... What's that? That another piece of coggery. Lots of pieces of coggery. <laughs> that part of the bullet. Oh, oh. It's a cigarette holder. Huh. Is it a cigarette holder? I don't actually know what that is. Miscellaneous. That would have been a beautiful bottle stop. Such a shame. I think that's Dunlop tyre glue, I think you. It probably says on the back. I'll probably take that and read it and see what it says. It's like a bead hiding in there. Flowery one? Oh yeah, it's a flower. That's oh <laughs> that's always good for a doll's house. That's a flower for a flower pot. Kate's far away. <laughs> There's a really worn chandelier drop. That looks like a good bead. Hmm, is it broken or is it supposed to be that shape? Oh, it's supposed to be like that, like a twelve. Is it almost supposed to look like a sweet? Oh, I love it. Either way, very fancy. Small round lens. I'm sure that'll come in handy. This mother of pearl only has one hole in it. I think this little green tile, the pattern on it, it's quite nice. Oh, that must have corroded. Oh. Oh. 
Ooh, is that a patch? Do that look like enamel under there? And the back might have broken off, but that definitely looks like it's got something on it there, doesn't it? Ooh, that's exciting. Oh, I love to soak a thing and see what appears. Ooh, cool. It's a small ball. It doesn't, it's not a marble. And it's not a bead. I don't know what that is. Take it though. Now you're probably sick of these, but it's a lead post office seal. Hey, floor. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> She's buried in the dried up seaweed. And look, there's a lid on the bottle there. I might take that. <laughs> a little house with a ladder. <laughs> I think it's about a ladder. <laughs> That's quite cool. Okay, that's very pretty. How broken is it? Oh, I imagine that's most likely Niger, is it? It's probably Niger Brothers, that is so beautiful. It's either a cabochon or a bead. Pendant. That is beautiful. And is that a tiny green seed bead underneath? Yes, I think it is. Oh, it's half of a seed bead. <laughs> oh well, that's beautiful. I think that's my find of the day. Actually saying that, <laughs> very close to it, is this. Is that a bead? Um, it's either a bead or a pendant with a hole all the way through that's supposed to look like a stick. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is absolutely amazing. Jewelry designers in the 1920s were just all of it. The whole aesthetic of the 1920s it just goes as colourful and crazy as possible. I love it. Wow, okay. And actually, literally as I'm talking, I think if you look up there, I think that is a frosted bottle stop. It is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's beautiful so chunky and under it oh no I thought it was a cane bead wow okay this was a very productive spot Let's see if there's anything else that looks like a lovely bead look how blue it is oh it's a bit dinked but Yeah, you won't know when you open the box. Oh, maybe it's the right way up then. <laughs> is that going to be the same? Is it the same? Oh, no, I don't think it is. It's enamelled it though. In it, it? Yeah, no. No, this one has double M in it. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's always with the the badges. Wow, is that a bead? <laughs> is that a bead? I thought it was a tile. Has it got holes either side? I think so. Oh. <laughs> Uh, you found one too? Yeah. Oh. Is it the same one or is it different? No, it's different? I didn't know what that was. I thought it was a cigarette holder to start with, but I'm not, it isn't, is it? But I'm sure it would come in handy with something. Yeah, I'm, I feel like I should know what that is. All my things are. Uh oh. What? They're going to be really difficult to get. I mean, they're tiny. They're absolutely tiny. Can you put glasses on? Yes. <laughs> oh my hmm. goodness. Oh, wow, is that pressed glass? Yeah? yeah, I think it's probably Niger. Wow. And then that's a stick bead. Yes. It's <laughs> It's a bead in the shape of a stick. Oh my goodness. They are stunning. I found them within two seconds of each other oh in the same spot. Been. Oh no, I stayed in that. Oh, That's how you got so far ahead. I was staying in that spot for a long time. 
But yeah. Oh, they are amazing. They are absolutely amazing. I love the stick bead. The stick bead is amazing. Isn't it amazing? Is that a bead? It is a bead. It's a blue bead. With the paint pan. Oh, it's a tiny little square one. <laughs> it's different. I like that. I think that's a bit like the one I found a while ago that we said was like a trough, but it was a double one. Nice, I like that a lot. What does that sort of look like? We don't really have them in this country. Oh, a mailbox. It looks like a mailbox. Well, it really does. Well, we could With pay American homage. Cousin, Amer Amer yeah. Wants an American cousin in the doll's house, so oh, they, yeah. they have a mailbox. Nice. I think some people have mailboxes in this country. Generally not this shape, though. They're kind of square here, aren't they? Well, maybe. That's a real shame. I imagine that would have been beautiful. Press glass, the edge of a press glass, something or other. Another paint pan, a little square one. This one says, it says Rowney's Elementary Colour. It's a bit of a different one is a bead that has seen better days oh it's oh it's very very melted still usable as a bead though and then what do we think that is hmm looks like a tiny hat not sure what it is but I'm sure it will be very handy two things here one thing that looks like a doll, it would, would have been a, a doll of a animal of some sort, so that would have been a leg of a horse or a goat, which is a real shame. And then above it is a human tooth, a molar, and something else. I think that's a glistening red button. Oh! Beautiful. Look at that. Look how shiny it is and really looks like a hard boiled sweet. Brilliant. I thought so. It's a doll's lid. Another one for the collection, which is really growing to be really quite a large collection now. Brilliant. Broken but most likely UV bead. Wow, very broken. Beautiful though. Is that a broken bead? Oh, no. Not sure what it is. It looks like a marble, but it's straight. Do you think it could be oh, like a result of blowing a marble? Blowing some glass? Could it be the end? Ooh, that could be really interesting. It's beautiful, whatever it is. Well, I can see that one from upright. That is a very bright bead. Ooh. Okay. Why does it look like that? I think I've seen these beads. I think I've seen what they're called. Oh, it's beautiful. The pattern on it, though. Oh, I'll try and look it up and put it on the screen and actually underneath oh is it a bead? it is a bead it's just quite it is a bead oh goodness it's just quite flat black faceted glass one oh actually <laughs> there's a white one here too this is where the beads gather I'd have to extract these two bottles just because this one looks like a, a Bovril or an Oxo, but it looks like it says something that I've never seen before. So this one is a California fig syrup one, which is a very common one. But what are you? Beefex. Oh, is that a later form of Oxo? Bovril, it's all the same sort of thing, but I've not got a beefex. 
Not sure I need it, but it's very cool. I love that though. Oh, is that an owl? It's an enamel cup. Wow. Yeah, I like that a lot. Look adorable with the plant in. <laughs> I'll feed him in time, but completely wrong. <laughs> Button or cabochon? Ooh, inlay. Hey. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it? We're going to have to make her something at some point with Mother of Pearl inlay. Okay, very exciting find. Really? Yes. The button? Yes, but look. What's it got on it? I don't know. I don't... Oh, it's a rose. Oh, is it a... Button, it has absolutely no way of it being. I don't know if it's like a from a necklace or could it be a I, more modern? In, I don't know. I don't know if it just that would have just sat in something and it was designed so it looked sort of 3D this side. You think it There's, would be odd though, wouldn't it? Because if you put something on the other side, you, yeah. you wouldn't see it so well, or would you? Well, maybe you would. It looks quite nice with white behind it, doesn't it? Ooh, but I don't know. there's absolutely no way for it to have been, you know, it's a not button, a bottle stop no. or a button and it would be, you know, it's weird that it doesn't have any of the like corroded metal left around it like yeah. things quite often do. We'll have to look that up. We'll have to look it up. Research. So it could be, it's a big could, big might, could be an intaglio but it might not be and if it is one it's a, it's a more modern one. Yeah. But it's beautiful. Well, not necessarily. It is. I don't want to get my hopes up too much. <laughs> it's a bit of an odd place if it's really old to be here. But I suppose people threw things away. Yeah. Could have been sat in a drawer. Well, it's a rose. So it's absolutely beautiful. Oh my word. It's lovely. <laughs> I'm, I'm intrigued by this thing that you picked up as well though. Oh, this the thing just What's before it, it. Is it skull and... I don't know. It's, some, it's a very odd thing. What is that? I don't... Oh. I don't know, it goes all the way through it and does. it's made of pot clay pipe material. It's just odd though. <gasps> it's quite know. nice. Yeah. Now that looks like an incredible bead. <gasps> Look at that. It almost looks like a spinning top. In fact, we'll probably make it into one, but... Today has definitely been a day for magnificent beads. It's got little branches, sprigs. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. And then there's also this beautiful orange bead. Oh, no, again, only got a hole in one side. But amazing colours glass, amazing colours in the glass. And I saw this bead from ages away because the sun was glinting off it just right. It's a beautiful red one. And just as I'm trying to show you, the sun has gone behind a cloud. And it's back. Brilliant. Look at that little one. Adorable. Wow, okay, there's some amazing. Look. Who's that? Hectic days. So this is October 4th, 1936. There are thousands of women like Mrs. Alderton keeping their families healthy and happy on two or three pounds a week and expect no praise, yet every day they perform miracles of clever management. <laughs> oh, these are the days. Bomb, please, cinema. Oh, we're going to have to take some of this newspaper for sure. I think there's some more over here as well. Yeah, I'm going to take niece, niece charged by judge. What's it say? Have you heard of fashionable slim figure? And there's a lady. Oh, I'm definitely going to take this. <laughs> I can hear mum say it too. There's lots more too. This one's got footballs on it. Oh, this is a big watch. What was it?
<laughs> How big a watch have you got? <laughs> How much do we need? <laughs> okay, so I'm taking a lot of newspaper, but like, look! Look at her! And this bit, look at this tiny picture with the lady's face in a sunburst. It would just be beautiful on the wall of the doll's house. Yeah, I just... A rhino? Are you... What does it say? Are you collecting this interesting weekly series of travel yarns for your patrol board? I presume that's a small person. <laughs> Without a head. <laughs> I, I, well... Possibly? <laughs> It's just a small person without a head. <laughs> it's quite difficult to tell. Well, you won't see it from there. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. It looks like it. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks like it. I'm going to say yes. It's got a hole for its head to go. Hmm. These are the bits that I said about that Kate built her birdcage out of. Her bits of this. It's a battery. We found more newspaper. <laughs> well, suddenly thought that maybe with any bits that aren't particularly great, we can we could use two wallpaper a room in our doll's house. Oh, they're very useful. But look at these great lumps. There's no way we can possibly take them, which is such a shame. Imagine the things that are in there. I know. Oh, in there. Oh well. I have already got a bag full. <laughs> Piece of plaster work might be quite nice as an architectural detail somewhere. There's more of it. <laughs> that one's a bit too big to take. It's all plaster work. It's not it's plaster, not stone. Yay! I just found that. Oh. <laughs> I've never found one. It says L S B. For like a desk. Yeah. Children's desk. Oh, that's nice. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Ooh. And I filmed it. <laughs> I filmed the finding from afar. That's not easy to say. This green one. flat one. Lovely. <laughs> like a tiny donut. Nice. It's quite swirly. Oh, it's very swirly. Beautiful. Okay, I just kicked this little flash of colour out. Oh my goodness. What is it? It's almost like the bottom of a pot. Is it the bottom of a pot? But look, it's red and orange glass. My word, that is beautiful. Yes, I think this would have had a metal lid. And maybe like lip balm or face cream. But why would they have made it such a fancy colours and like sort of mixed swirly glass? Oh my word, I absolutely adore that. That is amazing. Yeah, and then like lip balm or uh, or like face cream or or not? I thought I assumed it was a screw. Yeah. That's Isn't it beautiful? Very old. Yeah. It's such a beautiful colour. I know. Hot. Yes. For the lounge. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's so tiny and ridged. Yep, I'm going to have to take that. Yes, that's very Tiny cute. little ridge. If I could ever find a lid, I'll put one on it. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's amazing. Look, it's a clock on it. Tiny, tiny clock. That's just perfect for the doll's house. 
Ben de seni teşekkür ederim. So we've decided that we have done enough newspaper separating for, separating for today and we're going to do some more over on the crafting channel we think because we've got quite a few chunks left <laughs> and we've caused carnage but there's been we found some amazing pieces that will be great for various crafts. So now we're going to tidy up and then we'll do the roundup. If we can stop looking. I know. <laughs> We had a lot of fun with all the piles of newspaper. We're not finished yet. We've still got a few bits to go through. We're kind of regretting not taking it all now. I know. But it was, it was so heavy. It's such and massive chunks. So far there. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so much fun. Um, but these, these are the bits. Some of the bits that we've picked out for the doll's house. Lots uh, of like um, labels. You can make a box of cornflakes, a bottle of Clark's blood mixture. Lots of things for pictures. Lots of things for pictures. Um, some music, sheet music. We can make magazines. We can make books. We can make. You said newspapers, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna make. Yeah. Some and then books. This. Oh, yeah. Oh, not this. This. This, this is gonna be amazing in the, for our crafting channel. Gonna do it. It says, bend under and paste onto a piece of card, I presume, and then you have this scene. And then you cut out these little people, and I presume you put them around. Cut the out scene. the figures very carefully, is that what it says? Yeah. Yeah. And then you put them on the scene, like ice skating, or running I know around. It's a bit windmill. warm, but we're going to try our best to save as much as we can. We may be able to, to interpret what the rest of it would look like. Might get um, Dad to yeah, he's draw. He's very good at drawing. He's very good at drawing, so you might, might ask him. legs and things. Yeah, and, and the rest of the scene. But look, he would have been rolling on his back in the snow. How cute is that? But. Yeah, we're going to do that. I mean, maybe that's, is that a Christmas thing? That is definitely a Christmas craft, I think. We are thinking of doing a, a craftmas. Yes. So we do Mudmas every year on this channel, which is a film every day for the 12 days of Christmas. Although not the actual 12 days of Christmas, 12 days before Christmas. We think this year we might do it over on our doll and craft channel as well. As well. That's a lot Which of we need to start doing now. now. So, so we if, could do this. Yeah. And if anyone has any... We're starting both, we're starting to make both of them, this one, the one on this channel and on the crafting channel. So if anyone has any suggestions or anything they'd like to see in this year's Mudmas, I know it's July, <laughs> but... Um, Christmas in July. Yep, yeah, we need to start planning. So if anyone has anything they'd like to see, please let us know. Well, that was our trip back to Treasure Beach. We really do love Treasure Beach, Never don't we? disappoints. No, I think it may be... Our new favourite beach. Yeah, or I, our favourite beach is still our favourite beach because it's sentimental. Mm -hmm. But Treasure Beach, yeah, I mean it's crazy the things we find there. And um, no, then again this time too. Mm -hmm. So what's your favourite find? Oh no, <laughs> it's very difficult because I adore some of my beads, but and then there's, if, the if special there's a chance thing. that this is. An intaglio, then it's got to be, hasn't it? It's got to be this because we've got two other examples of things we think could be intaglios, but I didn't find either of them. <laughs> you found both of them. So if this is my first one, I have loads of newspaper gunk under my nails. <laughs> it's a rose. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. I'm gonna say it is because there's, there's, it's like uneven. It's not. <gasps> It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> it's not in the centre, so I don't think it's the middle of a necklace because it would be in the centre, surely, would it not? I don't know. And it's, it's like it's uneven odd. on the edges. But it doesn't, so it doesn't look, look like, like this. No, yours. this is a, a Georgian one that probably would have been in a ring because of the size, and yeah, that's like, it's perfect. So this one might have been a a cheaper one, and maybe in, it's a bit too big for a ring. So maybe, and then we've also got this big one that mum found 
years ago. On the channel though, but one of our first videos which isn't up anymore unfortunately, of a basket of flowers. And again, yeah, that's not, they're not, I think they're all intaglios. I think, I think we have three. But more modern ones. But these two are more modern, yeah. Yeah, I don't think, my mine's not Georgian like yours, you can just tell. Uh-huh. Whereas those two seem to be of similar age, don't yeah. they? Similar. Yeah, and this one we found on Victorian Beach. Uh-huh. Mm. But yeah. I think that's my favourite find, is a rose in Talio. Not as amazing as yours, but I will definitely take it. Your favourite find? <laughs> my queen, I suppose, although it has perturbed me a lot. Oh, yes, this it's coin. It's really frustrating. I don't week. understand. It's so annoying. <laughs> so we have, we think that this is George V because it's the right, he's facing the right way and none of the other kings except super old ones looked, had the same sort of profile as him with the beard. So we're pretty sure this is George V. But it also has an inner circle. I'm going to have to show you better. It has an inner circle with like writing around the edge on both sides. And we can't find a single George V coin that has that. No foreign coins, no medals, no tokens. We can find nothing. So frustrating. That would have that inner ring. Cause like old- <coughs> The cartwheel pennies. The cartwheel pennies have them, but this is not a cartwheel penny. It's nowhere near, and you can, it wasn't raised, you can tell. And only other coins we can find that have this are like this super old hammered coins and yes, the super is... old coins, which I, this is, it looks like George V. So if anyone, we need a coin expert, if anyone... And it's so frustrating because you can just nearly read things. I know. There's some numbers. There's some numbers yeah. somewhere. It's just a bit too far gone. Such a shame. It's such a shame. If anyone knows, um, I will put the measurements of this coin up on the screen because I know that helps with the coin identification. We, this is our mystery find and we are... Frustrated. <laughs> very much uh, begging anyone, if they know, to please let us know. It's all week. Every time I walk into a room, <laughs> Mum's just been look, staring at this coin. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, it might not be... George V. It just looks like it. It could be. I mean, like I say, it could be a foreign king or a foreign. Yeah, I can't but... find any with a ring inside. So yes, please, please let us know. Mum's badge still needs some more time soaking, but it is an enamel badge and it says committee. But there is no way for us to find out what, what committee. committee. <laughs> it could have just been a tiny little like town hall committee. Yeah, it's very decorative at the bottom. Another blue and white enamel badge. It's literally the other way round. Oh, is the, uh, your one blue and then white? Now this one's white and then blue. Lovely. So yeah, a committee. <laughs> on, on an off chance of anyone has seen a badge like this, <laughs> although I doubt it. So this lead bottle cap seal is John Duars and Son, Distillers Perth, which is a which is a fine Scotch whisky emporium established back in 1897 in Scotland, obviously. So I presume that would have been like the lid top? Yeah, like I've got lid. a picture. Yeah, yeah, it would have been like how modern wine bottles have the sort of foil. metal, the foil, yeah, yeah, that you peel. This would have been, yeah, to keep it fresh, show that what's inside is John Dewar's and Son whisky, not someone refilling the bottle. That'd be good in the doll's house. Oh, yes. In the study, maybe. I'm going to ask Mum to pronounce this French wine. Uh, Gloire de Chablis. Chablis. It's Chablis, but I don't know how you pronounce the Gloire bit. Gloire. And the history of this wine is amazing. So, um, through traces of village dating back to the Neolithic period have been found. But the true origins of Chablis... Oh. <laughs> Do 
you want me to hold it yes, and you please. look at it? <laughs> the true origins of Chablis go back to Roman times and it is said to have come from the Latin term caplum, meaning ford. Uh, the vines flourished here in the 3rd century after having been rehabilitated by the Emperor Probus. Mm. The Serene River? Serene? Serene? River. <laughs> also allowed wines from Chablis to be transported to Paris. And from the capital they were shipped abroad to Flanders and England in particular. So this, so is, this is a, again, a bottle of wine then? A bottle of wine, this oh. one, yeah. Never found anything oh. wine-related seal-wise. It's usually whiskey. Yeah. So yeah, some lovely French wine. Quite uh, the, Chablis. The Gloire de Chablis is the dare tribute to the relics of Saint Martin, honoured for 11 centuries in the area. So yeah, it's amazing. There's a little wine seal. And it's got a beautiful flower in the middle. My arms are really bit starting more, to hate okay. yeah. bit more, um... <laughs> Oh, no, but then so does this one also has, the whiskey also has some flowers in the middle. Oh. So very beautiful. They are and very beautiful. And not found these before. No. So it's very cool. We found the Johnny Walker small seals that hang on the side, but never the lead caps. Some other random metal bits. Don't know what this beautiful floral piece would have been. I reckon we can make a fire guard out of that. Oh, lovely. Mum's beautiful. Need to wet it. Beautiful. What do you think? This is a hair slide. I think it's a hair slide. Yeah, you know, like one that bends. Yeah. Very decorative. Beautiful. Some lead limbs. Lots of beautiful beads today. I'm intrigued to know if anybody knows what I know. It's like, but I want to know what that was from. It's obviously it's got writing on it. It's got numbers. Yeah. Oh. But it looks. I know it's not the trigger of a gun or anything, <laughs> but it does look. It is odd, just in case anybody might recognise what it might be a part of. We've got a few things like that now, haven't we? Mm. Weird. We're going to have to make some sort of weird mechanical sculpture one day. Yes. Um, beautiful, beautiful beads today. Mum's wonderful, giant, probably a bracelet bead, which has all the different types of um, glass in it and golden glass. Looks like um, Venetian. It does, yeah. It looks a bit like the wedding cake beads. Beautiful little red pot, which I'm very red and orange pot, which I'm very excited Beautiful. about. Beautiful. I didn't know we'd take the metal bits, yeah, remnants off, not maybe. Sure. It is absolutely beautiful. Mm. It's been a beautiful pot. And then the bead, which we kept on referring to as a stick. <laughs> and then obviously on the way home, I was like, it's coral. <laughs> it's the 1920s. It's obviously coral. It's not a stick. And here is a picture of. The necklace that it would have come off, which are wonderful. So yeah, it's a coral bead, um, beautiful red, green bead with the sprigs, which I think I might turn into a spinning, spinning top. top in the nursery in the doll's house, and the beautiful little broken cabochon or pendant setting, which I think is probably Niagara. So yeah, beautiful and some sweet shaped ones. Mum's unfortunate broken one, the flower, which will be great for making a plant. This confused so. me, because when I picked it up, I thought it was a bead, or but it's not. Is that just like a very, 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 very round piece of seed glass? Yeah. You said very that in the round. film, too. I know, but oh. it's great. I didn't realise quite how round it is. And I don't know what that is. No, it's almost painted silver, but it's not. Yeah. Some worn bottle stops. And an enamel cup, which I will be putting one of my house plants in. Um, yeah, and some other various bits. So I think it was a very successful trip. Mm. It's very. I like. I like the newspaper a lot. Mm. Yeah. I'm very excited about the newspaper. Yes. So we hope you enjoyed. Once again, not sure where we are next week, but sure to be full of tiny treasures, I imagine. <laughs> We very rarely find things bigger than our hand. <laughs> Luckily, so, because we're running out of space. Yes. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> so, yes, we hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. We have to... Oh, no, we no. have to say a massive thank you. We reached 20,000 oh, subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were, yes, we have to say a massive thank you because we've reached 20,000 subscribers, which is just... Yeah, bonkers. And we, yeah, it's all down to you. Each and every one of you has helped, has made us achieve this, and we cannot thank you enough. We're 
planning on for 20,000 as a celebration, we are planning on going on a really big trip. Yeah, but it won't be for a while. It won't be until summer holidays because of Oscar, but we're planning to just sort of drive up the country in our camper van and yeah. just try and do everything and meet everyone and just yeah, have a, an epic mudlarking road trip as a thank you for 20,000 subscribers. Yeah. And everyone that likes and comments, it all means the world of difference. Your interactions with the channel recently has made the algorithm yeah. push our films into some places it hadn't been before. And that's all down to you. So we just have to say a massive, massive, massive thank you. And for everyone that donates and our Patreons, a film will be going up on Patreon in the next couple of days, hopefully. Of us sorting the, some of the newspaper? No, the trip, to, the tiny trip to oh, the beach. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there'll be probably a couple of films going up on Patreon soon. Yeah, thank you very much. Hope everyone's having a lovely summer or winter, if you're on the other side of the world. Thank you for watching and we will see you soon. Bye! Bye.